What is going on, everybody? Darrell, the Whiskey Saint. We are back on another Wednesday, guys, and we got a little fun blind set up. It's going to be an interesting one. You know, I may have my favorites out of the three things that we're going to be blinding. And I'm curious what your favorites may be, although all three of these are single barrel, so I'm not sure if anybody had them. But just seeing what they are, give me your thoughts. We'll go by labels, actually, because two of these labels are pretty cool. You, let, you guys let me know in the comments what you think the best label was. If you're new to watch channel, hit the like and subscribe. I'm going to keep you in suspense. I'm going to kick this show off. Cheers. Welcome back, guys. And I got some samples poured up. What we're going to be doing, actually, is diving into a finished MGP three-way blind battle. And the bottles that we're going to be doing, guys, are two of them are from Northside. So I'm not sure if this label is going to be really familiar to those. Um, I know some close to me have had this bottle. This is a single barrel from a local group, and they called it Wan Winkel. We have a infamous Good Times Honey Finish Bourbon. First one was Honey Finished as well, guys. Um, all MGP. Uh, first one coming in at 108 proof. Second one, the Good Times coming in at 113. And another Northside MGP 110 proof honey flavored bourbon. So from what I remember... I remember the North Sides being really, really good. In all honesty, I can't remember if I liked this Good Times or not. And what's crazy, I don't, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but so you can't even really see this. But this is pretty clear, like clear, right? I haven't touched this Good Times in forever, and I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this thing is like cloudy now. There's like so much stuff floating in the middle of it. Like, I don't even know. None of the glasses <laughs> have anything floating, so I'm not sure, but holy crap. Maybe it's just raw honey that needed to be like mixed up. It's still kind of hazy in here, but there's nothing floating around, but that's that worried me a bit. <laughs> but we're going to dive right in, guys. Already two and a half minutes into this. Haven't even took a sip of whiskey. I'm going to mix these up a bit more. I don't know what they are, where they are. In the blind, but I do got them labeled at the bottom. So mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. And we're going to go in on the nose on these, then on the palate. Cheers. So very, very sweet up front on this one. Don't really get any ethanol on the nose. But you do get that honey. That honey is definitely present. A little bit of oak in there. Like these are decently aged, I believe. So the first one was a six and a half year old. The Good Times is, uh, Good Times doesn't say, but they're typically like five years old or so. And the other north side was six and a half as well. So all pretty similar stats, guys. So we're going to see if that Good Times stands out. <laughs> So nose is pretty nice. Nice little barrel char, a little toasted note, sweetness, some honey. Definitely some honey mixed in. All right, enough of that one. What's going on in the second one? And this one's actually noticeably darker. I can't really tell which one's darker over here in the bottles, but this one's a little bit darker than the other two. Ooh, so this actually comes across a little bit more older, has a little bit more depth. Got some ethanol on there, kind of lift the nose up a little bit. Similar sweetness. I don't really get much honey, but I get sweet, like sweet oak. But it's deep and rich. Like this nose for me is better than the first one for sure. What's going on the second one? Or the third one? Oh, this smells actually really, really nice too, but doesn't have the depth of the second one. But this nose is really nice. Yeah, right off the rip of nose in all three. Number two is first place for me. 
Second place is glass three. Third place, glass A. Let's dive into the palette on A. So really light on a tongue. Very, very sweet. Get a little bit of spice along the sides of your tongue. But that's really it. Like, it's already kind of gone. But very, very sweet. I don't know. It, it almost comes across a little artificial to me. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to take one more sip and I'm going to move it along. Yeah, that is very, very light. Very, very light. So curious what the second one's going to be because that nose was so full of depth and rich oak. I'm going to see if the, the palate stands up to that. Moving along, we'll take a couple sips of this one since I had some water. I know it's going to dilute it a bit and don't want that to happen. So definitely has more spice, more of a finish. The depth on the nose doesn't carry over as much on the palate, but this seems like a step up from the first sample for sure. You know, the finish carries along, which that first one was lacking. It was just so sweet up front and kind of just lacked the depth in the finish for me. As this one actually, some of that depth and finish translate, translates across the palate. I'm going to take another sip. Yeah, just overall better mouthfeel by far from the first one. Still tasting that that sweetness, that oak, that honey, vanilla. It's literally like a Teddy Graham, like a honey vanilla Teddy Graham with some like some vanilla frosting like towards the the back of the palate. That one's really nice. I'm gonna rinse out guys and dive in the sea, and we're gonna shoot a reveal. Well. See what the reveal is. <laughs> Off the top of my head, if I was to guess, <clears throat> I would think this would be the the BTAC um, North side. I haven't tasted a third, but the third wasn't that great. Um, nose and palate, so I would lean maybe towards good times, but we're going to take a sip of the third one. Maybe my, my thoughts change a bit. Cheers. So that right there tastes more conventional MGP finished versus the other two were very honey forward with that sweetness. This kind of hides some of that sweetness. But this one actually tasted a little younger too. <laughs> wow. Actually, that's really good. That scares me because I'm pretty certain B isn't <laughs> good times. But I love this has the best finish by far. C's finish is fantastic. And good times does have the highest proof, but it's only 113 versus 110 and 109, I think. Right. So it's not far off, but it's this one is noticeably spicier on the palate. 
I'm going to take one more sip of this. But this may be tough between two and three. That's really good. That's really good. So one of these isn't that good. <laughs> one's pretty good and one's, this one's actually really good. But let me go back to B really quick. See, that's just a balance of nice step, depth, sweetness. I do prefer the finish on the third one. But I think overall, in terms of whiskey, guys, I think number two is a little better. And I'm really, really curious to see what this one is. Um, if this is a north side or which one the good times is, right? Because everybody knocks on good times. I've had some good good times bottles. Not many, <laughs> but there was a few. And I don't know if this was one of the ones that I enjoyed because it's been probably three years since I've had this bottle. But we're going to reveal from, from last to first, guys. Last being my first glass here. I got a little sticker at the bottom for us to know what they are. In third place, last place is... Oh, shit. Wow. So, guys, third place, the one that came across young with no finish was BTAC. And if you were to ask me what my favorite of the three were, would have been this bottle. Wow. So that makes me think that second place being at the finish was noticeably more, even though it was only a couple proof points. Makes me think this was good times. But this is damn good. So my second place, guys, was... Indeed, if you can see it, I put GT over there for good times. This is actually a really, really good, good times, honey finished bourbon. Wow. Barrel number 13. If anybody has barrel number 13 from good times and it has this big old potato sticker, almost like Ghostbusters, it looks like. <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty damn good. And the winner, guys, being Northside, Wan. Vinko, six and a half, MGP, out of Cincinnati, I believe. Wow, I actually would have thought that might have been second. The other north side first and good times last. But that good times is actually really, really good. We're going to take one more sip of that and we're going to end this off, guys. But that actually surprised me. Not going to lie. <laughs> it's a really good bottle, guys. Oh, man. That's funny. See, after three years, too, maybe <laughs> maybe it gelled a bit more or something. But um, that's actually pretty tasty. And I probably will be pouring some more of that. But if you guys stuck with me so far, thank you. Thank you. We're going to end this show off. But cheers. Till next Wednesday. Take it easy, guys. Jeff. Just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say